Sometimes the best way to explore your roots is just to create some new ones, like using shoots from our grand old Miss Big Fig at the farm to create more fig trees. If you know me, you know I'm interested in conserving and preserving things. Well, take for instance this activity that I'm underway with today. It's all about perpetuating Miss Big Fig, a very old Celeste fig, probably close to 100 years old. Now, you can see the big old trunks in here, and after a while they begin to decay, and once they begin to decay, we remove them. But then what happens is you get all these young shoots. Here's where the opportunity comes along. By taking these shoots and clipping them in late winter, I can root each one of these and create a new Miss Big Fig. And what I want to do is I want to cut one of these low uh, stems that's close to the ground here and just show you what I mean because uh, they're already putting out what are called little aerial roots. If you look closely here, you can see, look at those little roots coming out on the side. Now this was a stem that was very close to the ground. The potential for these roots lies all along the stem. So all of these stems can produce new fig plants. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these in lengths of about uh, 10 inches, and we're gonna stick them in a moist, very loose soil. And in about six weeks, you'll see lots of little roots coming out of here. Now, there are a few things I want you to keep in mind if you decide to do this at home. Number one, you want to create a container and fill it with a moist soil. The second thing you want to do is you want to use a rooting powder or a rooting hormone or rooting compound. You just dip the ends of the stems in it and then put them into the ground. It's that easy. And the third thing is place your container where you're rooting your figs in a place that's shady, not in direct sun, because too much sunlight will stress them out. And before long, you'll have more fig plants than you can count. <laughs>